Today's word of the day comes from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 2, verse 3. 1 Kings, chapter 2, verse 3. And it's, it's actually King David speaking to King Solomon right after he was uh, ordained to be the next king when David uh, anointed him and said, he was crowned as the new king. And David is talking to him and he says, And keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. Amen. And keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, if you've been with us for any amount of time, we, we are well aware that the, we are not able to keep the law. We know that our flesh fights against that, and that's where sin just takes root and goes crazy. And so we come to the revelation that we cannot keep the law. And so why are we looking at this? Old Testament where it's saying keep the law and do these things because what I hope we can see this morning is God's incredible love for us when he says keep all these things there's a reason and what is the reason for keeping all these things that we would prosper in all that we do and wherever we turn God wants us to prosper in all that we do and wherever we turn. I pray that we can all see this. God wants us to prosper in all that we do and wherever we turn. And I'm pretty sure none of us would object to that. So what is the solution to this? If we cannot keep the law, but God wants us to prosper in all these things, then if we cannot do it, I guess God's going to have to do it. In Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 26 and 27, God promises us through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that he would give us a new heart and put a new spirit within us, his spirit, his Holy Spirit. He will take the heart of stone out of our flesh and give us a heart of flesh. He will put his spirit within us and cause us to walk in his statutes, and we will keep his judgments and do them. Why is God doing this? Again, because he wants to bless us. What does that blessing look like? John chapter 14, verses 21 through 23, Jesus tells us, He who has my commandments and keeps them, who walks in his judgments and his statutes. It is he who loves me because he loved us first and he gave us a heart to love him. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and manifest myself to him. What we've been talking about, the second coming of Christ to those who eagerly await him and love him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not the world? That's our question to him today. Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word because I will cause him to keep my word. And my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. And when he makes his home with us, he will never leave and we will never be outside of his blessing and presence and all the promises he has for all of his children. He wants to be with us. He loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe him in him would find that eternal life to be able to walk with God un, uh, without going in and out. We would be in forever in a spiritual communion with God, never departing from him. That's his will. And I pray that's our will as well so that we would keep all these things. He's going to do it for us. Lord, we thank you for wanting all those, all of us to prosper and be blessed and be blessed with you and that we, we, you, you would have us because you want us. And all this is just to believe that you would do it. Not to believe that we can do it, but to believe that you have done it on the cross. You will finish the work in us and you have wonderful plans for us to be with you and never be away from you even while we're here on this earth, just as Jesus said, he was here on the earth and he said he was in the bosom of the Father with total communion with you all the time, Lord. Let this become our reality. Give us a heart to want this and finish this work. Give us the faith to believe that you will do it according to your word and we look forward to it 
Help us believe, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Amen.